All right, that's it. I'm switching to Ubuntu, everyone, because I'm out here testing out my anarcho-primitivist Wi-Fi connection, or it, I, I'm actually connected to the Ethernet, so it's really just my internet connection generally. And uh, so here's what I did. I don't remember when I started this update, but of course I'm on Void Linux here. This is gonna, the same problem is gonna be on Arch Linux, obviously. Um, and whenever you have a rolling release distribution, of course, you, if you wanna, you gotta update stuff. You just gotta do it, okay? So I, um, I, I was gonna install something. I don't even remember what I was doing, but I needed to install Image Magic. And it pulled the most recent dependency of Image Magic, so I'm like, oh, great, now I have to update. So I'll just run through an update. I don't remember when I started this, but it started on Firefox. I was doing work on the computer. It got to about 25% on Firefox. I don't know how long it took, but it took a long time. And then I left. I made some salmon. I baked some bread. Um, I came back after probably more than an hour. Well, not more than an hour. Maybe less. Yeah, probably less than an hour. But Firefox was just then finishing. Then it went on to Git. Okay, so Firefox done. Then it went to Git. That took the time that it took me to eat my food. And then I came back and I got the, these packages, these smaller packages, okay? But we're still, we still have, look at all this. Gotta download, oh my goodness, gotta download this uh, Linux firmware. That's gonna be a big pain. That's 37 megabytes. So my internet, I'm not actually switching to Ubuntu, guys. I know there are some people, I know there's some people who like literally watch this channel and have autism and literally cannot tell what's, what's a joke and what isn't. I'm not actually switching to Ubuntu. I'll probably actually just have to do my updates on a cron job. But here we're going to, let's, do, let's go to speedtest.net. Now there's probably some leet hacker way to actually test your internet connection on the command line, which I should know, theoretically. But we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, the, the way that normies use it. Uh, we're going to use speedtest.net. Let's, let's see how slow I am. Oh god, I've been doxxed, it's my IP! Um, so let's see. I don't think, I don't, I've tested this before, but I don't think the... We'll see if the download actually affects it. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty typical. I tested it before and it was just like that. Even without the, the uh, uh, it running updates. Yep, so that's my internet connection. <laughs> Wait till you see the upload speed. Now imagine me uploading a video that's like, you know, 200 megabytes or something like that. I've been, I've been actually converting my videos to another codec that's a little less, but it's still terrible. Like, it's still awful, so whatever. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this video, just because it upsets me so much, but uh, yeah, so that's my internet speed. This is literal anarcho-primitivist uh, internet connection. <laughs> I've thought about, I've thought about getting um, like a mobile hotspot with like a cell phone provider. I've thought about doing stuff like that. You can get sad on, you can get sad, well first off, I know everyone's gonna give me advice on what to do. I've tried everything basically. Um, another option is like satellite internet, like HughesNet, that's the company that does it. Which you can have pretty much anywhere, but, um, sorry, I should move the mic closer. People are probably going to complain about the audio because they don't know what video is a joke and what isn't. Um, the, the thing, you can get HughesNet and it, it goes anywhere, but, um, you know, whenever clouds go in front of your satellite, you're going to lose your connection, or at least it's going to be really spotty. But I hear that it's actually faster. I hear that it's actually faster than having... I guess I have DSL or, or something like that. Oh, and the other thing, maybe you didn't, maybe you noticed in my like uh, review or going through my house, but I actually have this internet cord running from, you know, where the internet comes in to my computer way out here. Why is it fuzzy? Stop being fuzzy. Okay. I don't know. But um, so I actually have to go into the crawl space later and uh, run the cord, which my crawl space is too small for a grown man. So I might have to get, I don't know, some little kid around here. Maybe I'll get my cousin's kids to like uh, run the cord for me. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I was actually thinking about like just doing it the old-fashioned way, like with the Pythagorean theorem, and be like, okay, I need it need to have it at this corner of the house, so I need a, a like a stick that's this long, or probably multiple sticks attached, and I'll just you know do Sokotoa and get the right angle and you know push the cord in the right direction, and so I can get it to where I want. But I still have to drill holes and all this stuff. Anyway, this is a home improvement. So, okay, we're finally at Linux firmware. I wonder how long this is going to take. It's not, I'm not going to run the video for all of this. But this is, this is the internet our ancestors used. Your forebearers. That's the internet they used. Back when they were, when everything was a placenta. Uh, oh, by the way, Rip Varg. Maybe I should do a video on that later. But, um, all right.
I just did a video to rant. I gotta get back. I got more chores to do. Hopefully this will finish sometime today.